lying over there near the camera. Well, thank God the truth at last. Nicole, you really believed that Miles had killed her, didn't you? Yes, I did. What else could I think? What did you do next? Well, I ran over to Miles to try and help him up. I, I tried to tell him everything was all right. I don't think he could understand what I was saying, but somehow I managed to get him up. And we walked outside and I got him to the car in the parking lot. But then you came back in here, didn't you? Yes, because I suddenly realized I wasn't sure if Nora was still alive, if there was something I could do for her. So I ran back in and I found that there was no helping her, that she was dead. Now, at the same time, someone else is arriving at the studio. Mike, Nancy, Nicole, let's go. The rest, if you would, just stand where you are. Time to do your thing. Oh, God, Calvin, I hate this. This just reminds me of the first time you guys made me go through this business. Look, look, that was before. You were lying about the fact that it was too dark for you to see who came out of it. You didn't want to admit that it was Nicole. This is different. So come on, give it a try, huh? Get it right, okay? Now, Gavin rings the bell to see if Nicole is all right. When there's no response, I went to the phone to call Jody. Now, Nicole, when the bell stopped ringing, you decided to leave. Yes, and in a hurry. Show us. All right. We got to send it. And now, Gavin, you come to the studio. What happened? I saw Nora. I saw her lying there. She was dead. Then what did you do? I called the police. And you never left the studio until the police arrived? No, not once. You're sure you could see the door all that time? Yes, I am positive I didn't see anybody come out while I was waiting for the cops. The cops. Now it's time for the police officers. Okay, gentlemen. You know what you're supposed to do? Make a complete search of the studio. happened this way, it exonerates both Miles and Nicole. That's exactly right. Miles and Nicole should be exonerated. Neither one of them killed Nora. Who was the person hiding in the studio? Who killed Nora while she was making her talk to the camera? And how did the killer escape? That's what we've got to know. Watch. There's nobody here, Detective. We've searched the whole studio. Okay, Sergeant. Thank you for your help. You and, uh... You and your men can leave now. Stop in the detective. Hold it right where you are. Oh. Wait a minute. Why is there a dress like that? Because that's the way the killer was dressed, Nicole. You mean to say it was a policeman who did it? No, Doctor. It was a man dressed as a policeman. The same man who saw Gunther and Nora outside the studio. So that explains the discrepancy between Gunther's story and the one with the cop on the beat. Exactly. The policeman outside was not really a policeman. Of course, Gunther had no way of knowing that. Yeah. So, you're saying that this man, this, this policeman, followed Nora into the studio? Exactly right. Now, when Nora unlocked the door, it was not difficult for him to get to it before it closed again. And he just held the door ajar. Oh, and so... Then when Nora went to the to my office to look for me, he came inside and hid in the shadows. And while I was lying unconscious on the floor, Nora was making a little statement in front of the TV cameras. He picked up a loose length of cable and wrapped it around her neck. But he couldn't escape because that's when Nicole came in. No, he couldn't get out without being noticed, so he had to just bide his time. So the killer was still here when Gavin called the police. Yeah, which means you could have been killed too, old buddy. Yeah, but I wasn't a defenseless woman with my back turned. No, he didn't want to take any chances, so he waited. And pretended to be a policeman. That's exactly right. He waited until it was time for the policemen to leave. And when they left, so did he. And nobody noticed how many policemen came in as opposed to how many policemen went out. And one of those policemen who left was indeed David Cameron. Derek, 
Why would Cameron want to kill Nora Fulton? He didn't even know her, did he? Oh, he did. We just didn't know about their peculiar relationship. Not until Whitney pointed out something earlier tonight. What is it? Tell us, Sky, please. Well, you see, Cameron said something to me about keeping an eye on my servants. You see, he had caught Nora listening in on one of his very private conversations on the phone. So she must have heard something she wasn't supposed to hear. She heard the truth, that Cameron was working for himself and not the CEA. The point is, Cameron must have been more afraid of Nora Fulton than any of our other suspects. The lovely Raven is right. Nora knew the truth about Cameron, and he felt she was enough of a threat to him for him to want to dispose of her. And he used the uniform of the law to escape. That's how Sky figured it all out, because I told him about the police uniform that Cameron had in his little hideaway. Oh, my God. And I thought, oh, Miles, please forgive me. Oh, come on, there's nothing to forgive. You couldn't possibly have known. That's right. And I never thought to link Nora Fulton's strangling with, with Cameron's other two victims. There was no motive. If only I'd searched the studio myself, I would have found the guy. Yeah, and probably gotten yourself killed in the process. I think it's better that you let him know. Well, that's the problem. He has gotten away. And we can't prove any of this until we find him.